Hey, what's up guys? Joe here from Forcible Tavern bringing you our newest video of Top 8 from ARG uh, Atlantic City, I think this is. Yep, this is Atlantic City, New Jersey. And we are here with, what's your name again, man? Aaron Miles. Aaron Miles. And Aaron Miles, if I am correct, actually you went undefeated today, right? I did. I went 5-0 and 1. Yeah, he went 5-0 and 1. Uh, one little draw, but he ended up uh, getting first place after Swiss. Yep. Uh, top 8 ended up doing a split, but his deck was uh, pretty nuts, guys. So let's take a look. So Aaron, what did you, uh, what did you play today? Uh, I played Rezard. Okay. Um, because I felt like the deck builds pretty similarly to Blazer, but Rezard's God's Art allows you to like reset the game state and then still have a creature where they have none. And especially if you have something in the, uh, in the chance standby because it can't be interacted with by Rezard's God's Art. So I just wanted to like reset the game like that, but I only flipped him twice this entire event and I only God's Arted one time. Okay. But uh, it was, I mean, the fact that, like the best part about Rezard is that Persephone needs a ruler to be named Rezard, and Persephone's just really, really good. Man. Nobody expected Resonator to come in first, yeah, I can tell no. you that right now. <laughs> what about your Resonators, man? What, why did you pick the Resonators that you did? Obviously, you know, you played Red Black Control, yeah, yeah. I assume. Uh, I played Red Black because I was really worried about the, um, the Regalia deck, so I went to main deck Flames. And then I was like, alright, well, how can I, like, get the graveyard filled up enough to, uh, Persephone consistently? So I went with, like, the Guinevere Ruck Egg Engine, uh, and, like, Rasputin's, because, like, just constantly cycling through your deck with the Guinevere allows you to also fill up the graveyard, and that's why I ran 40 Thieves as well. Okay. It's just a constant, like, draw and discard. Uh, to just try and get your, to your Persephone quickly with Mephistopheles in the graveyard. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you just flip Persephone in their end phase, grab Mephistopheles, and swing in for a lot of damage. Yeah, that sounds... It, it sounds insanely devastating. I didn't end up playing this. We actually had a very versatile top 8. That's why I'm glad this is actually a deck list that was up here. Now, why the one Susanoo, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, Susanoo came in last night because I didn't have an end game for the Ruck Egg engine. Okay. So, like, if I, like, once I'm out of Ruck Eggs, then I can grab, like, 40 Thieves. And that's just not very good. And I, I hardcast Susana a lot this weekend, and like, it was just, it's really good. Now, what did you see mainly as you were playing today, like, um, as far as ruler-wise? Like, what did you see yourself uh, doing more so? More so, like, with my ruler or in the rulers I played against? Well, more like with the rulers you played against. Like, oh, how did uh, you play? All Yu-Gi-Oh! judges up to the front, please. All Yu-Gi-Oh! judges up to the front. All right, so now that that's done. Right, yeah, <laughs> um, I played against four Blazer and two Bahamut. Okay. Uh, and like I, that's why Rezar didn't get flipped very often is because they were all playing Bla uh, Baham or yeah Blazer. So I was like, okay, I guess I can't flip them that often. Uh, but and then one of the Blaz one of the Bahamut sided into Blazer and one of the Blazers sided into twenty eight Regalia Kane, which threw me for a loop. I feel like we played against the same guy. Probably. Probably the guy I played on the bubble. Ah, <laughs> uh, the struggle. So now, I know a lot of people really were looking at playing Underground Dragger, or yeah. Drigger, whatever his name is, Drugger. Yeah. Dragger? That's Dragger. it, it's Dragger, all right. <laughs> I couldn't remember the name for some reason. Yeah. Why, why, why Underground Dragger? All right, so uh, my brother got to be playing a similar list. He played the Cthulhu Blazer thing, but um, he was talking about how much removal we should be playing. And like, he's playing 4th Thunder and 4 Demon Flame, and I'm, I'm obviously not playing any of those cards. Uh, because I really liked Underground Dragger coming in as a body that's a stoning to death. Mm -hmm. And the amount of times that he won for two on two Lancelots was insane. Like, they swing with one Lancelot, I let it go, they bring out the other one, they swing, and then this comes out, kills the one Lancelot because it dealt damage, okay. and then blocks the other one. So that just sounds like an insane... Like almost, like insane almost like something you can't really get around. Yeah, and it's just 100 sounds really bigger annoying. than Lancelot, which is just really good. <laughs> Man, that's just way too solid. Yeah. My God. Nobody expected Rezard to come into this uh, today and just win it, guys. I can tell you that. Yeah. So, Susanna with the kill. And what about your uh, stones? What was your stone lineup? Oh, the stones were, um, it was four black redstone, uh, three redstone, and one black stone. Because most of my one drops are red. Mm -hmm. So I really didn't want to get locked out on black early in the game. Because I'm also playing Girls Ballesta. Okay. So it's basically two black stones and three red stones. And I just felt like, although a lot of my cards are dual black, I don't need to play the dual black cards on turn two. Mm -hmm. So the three red stones just made more sense as far as one drops are, and then little red. Little red always called black, unless my hand was like all red cards, but that I think that happened one time. But even still, you can at least, you know, kind of yeah. go from there and call what you need, really. Yeah, pretty much. And now what were your side options? Obviously the main board seems really solid yeah. and everything for the bodies and the cycle and everything. But so, what about the side options, and what would you side against in this deck? Alright, uh... Oh, let's get that out of here. So the sideboard was... The Blazer Ruler and the Blazer Dragon. Because okay. when I put in Blazer, I had to take out all four Persephone. Mm -hmm. And I realized that once I take out all four Persephone, I don't care about my graveyard as much, and I can play the Blazer Dragon. Uh, two additional Flame of Outer World. Two Split Heaven and Earth, because I was pretty sure there would be there were going to be people playing more special stones than I am. Uh, Drop my soda, guys. Don't mind me. Two Merlin. <laughs> Merlin, oh my god. Merlin's the MVP of the event. Because you just side deck in Merlin against everything that plays Guinevere. And when they Guinevere discard in their draw phase, and then they untap and play Lancelot, you flip this and just kill the Lancelot. And they're like, how is that flipping? And I'm like, well, you discarded it at the beginning of this turn. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I forgot Merlin was a card. Yeah, three That's... Dark Pulse, uh, because I thought Blazer Knights was going to be bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, two zero, because I thought, like, this was just for uh, blue and stuff. Like, I didn't like play in case you played the Valentina yet. matchup. Yeah, I was just like, I'll put this in, because it's a good card. 
and then I played two Mary Bell, which only came in in the last round because I was playing like I was playing my brother uh, table one at the end of uh, event, and um, we were both playing control, and like I noticed that game one we both got down to zero cards, and I'm like, what if I just play Mary Bell and just beat his face in with it? Uh, but it didn't come up. I didn't put it in against the 28 Regalia deck like I thought I would. But uh, well, the 28 Regalia when you only have two to pop up against, you know, yeah, 26 others. Because like I only want to Mary Bell their Mary Bells, but if I Mary Bell their Mary Bell, then like they kill my Death Sight, their Lavitin or Bow anyway, so it's just not good. So now, what did you see more often? What did you see uh, in your deck that was getting killed more often that was almost like a cycle that you needed? Or did you pretty much see everything you needed today? Uh, I saw most of what I needed. My Guinevere's getting killed early was really unfortunate, and then, like, fortunate top decks would just help me out of that situation. Uh, but the deck can dig really, really deep, which is why I played the four Persephone and the Mephistopheles. Uh, that was basically the name of the game, was just Persephone and the Mephistopheles. It sounds uh, like an absolutely intense combo. You just drop a 15 body with target attack. Yeah, but there was one game that I won because uh, I flipped Rezard, and then I like Godzard in for all his cards, which was three of the 12-12 Red Dragon. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I have to get those off the board. So I Rezard's Godzard, he um, you know, brings in Blazer. So my guy dies, it's not a huge deal. Uh, and then I top deck Mephistopheles, kill his Blazer, and then he, can't, he just draws red cards for the rest of the game. It's just nothing but red, man. Yeah. Nothing but red. That's the name of the event, guys. So again, this is... Aaron Miles. Aaron Miles. Yeah. So again, this is his top eight deck list. Actually, his first in Swiss. So feel free to give it a look, guys. Check us out, foultavern.com. Like us, subscribe to us, and everything like that. I'll try to get a printed list from him, too, if he's uh, ever so kind. I will do that. Ah, because you're an awesome guy. Yeah. All right, guys, so check us out. We've got the rest of the top eight on the way. Later.